Live from Oakland Foundation Gymnasium in the kettle on the campus of National Park College in Hot Springs, Arkansas, this is National Park College Nighthawk Men's Basketball on your home for the Nighthawks, the Nighthawk Network. Tonight's broadcast is brought to you by the following sponsors by Washita, Children, Youth, and Family Services, by RAD, Rise Above Alcohol and Drugs. CHI St. Vincent proudly sponsors National Park College Nighthawk Athletics this season. Special thank you to Levi Hospital cheering on the Nighthawks in 2024. If you would like to support Nighthawk Nation, you can do so by visiting us online at np.edu slash athletics. Good evening and thank you for joining us here in the kettle. I'm Mark Oliver with National Park College. Well, guys, this is it. The final home game of the 2023-24 season, and we are so glad to have you here with us tonight. Your undefeated National Park Nighthawks look to dazzle the home crowd here on sophomore night in search of their unprecedented 23rd victory this season, playing host to the University of Arkansas Cossetot Colts. Tonight's Washita Children, Youth, and Family Services feature Nighthawk of the game. The Nighthawks are led by this season's sophomore forward, Nikavion White, averaging 17.3 points per game per this season. White ranks fourth in the nation in assists and is NPC's all-time leader in rebounds, blocks, and assists. As we check in on our Chasing Vic graphic, as we like to call it, Nikavion White and enters tonight's game with 812 career points, just 107 points away from the all-time scoring record here at National Park College. Tonight, we will talk to Nikavion White, recap his historic career for NPC, discuss the legacy he leaves behind, and preview what's next for the star shooter. Second on the team in scoring for National Park College at 16.2 points per game, it's sophomore guard Jabrian Hill, and he has loved calling Hot Springs his basketball home for the past two seasons. Held to his first single-digit scoring finish in 13 games. Look for number three to be the fire starter in tonight's action. The all-time steals leader in NPC is also chasing Cam Vick in the all-time free throw category, just 20 away from taking over the top spot. Sophomore guard Patrick Punch recently passed Savon Trailer to take over fourth place all-time on NPC's scoring list, averaging 15 points per game this season. The Houston, Texas superstar led the team in scoring with 16 points in Monday's win over ASU Newport. As NPC's leading three-point man, look for Punch to strike early and often in this one tonight. Another game day, another day with sophomore center Taylor Harrell standing alone in the nation with an impressive 75.2 field goal percentage. And although his four-game streak of double-doubles came to an end on Monday, everyone's best friend has notched double-digit rebounds in five consecutive games and projects to be a huge factor down low for the Nighthawks tonight. Last but certainly not least for the Nighthawks starters is sophomore guard Kieran Collins, averaging 11.3 points per game this season. Zoe can do it all, from quick scoring to stealing the rock Collins is committed to doing whatever it takes to help his team win. Against some of the tougher guards in Region 2 play, we're looking at number 13 to provide added pressure up high in the lane and in the key to disrupt the Colts' rhythm tonight. Keys to the game for the National Park Nighthawks. As always, fast, aggressive start, stay out of foul trouble, and feed the home crowd. Standing room only here in the kettle. You know they're going to be loud. You know they're going to be proud. Feed off that energy. Give them what they want. I'm talking about that CHI St. Vincent dunk cam. We want to see it early and often tonight. Across the way, on a three-game winning streak in Region 2 play, the Colts storm into the kettle looking to avenge a 102-85 loss to NPC back on January 22nd. Featuring one of the region's top three-point shooters in Dylan Glover, the Colts are the kind of team that can score from anywhere on the floor if given the time. Inside, they want to challenge you physically down low and play chess from the free throw line. Sophomore guard Kayvon Wally, freshman forward Kahari Loggins lead the scoring effort for the Colts with 16 and 10 points respectively this season. They're efficient at slipping through the cracks in the paint and getting 
to the hoop. Serving as the team leader in steals and assists, Wally reads defense as well. He's not afraid to get his hands dirty to put points on the board. Both Wally and Loggins are also consistent at the free throw line where we expect a lot of action tonight. Leading rebounder Zion Harper is a mountain down low. The freshman forward shoots around 46% from the paint and should be a fun matchup to watch against NPC big man Taylor Harrell. Keys to the game for the Colts tonight. Find your three-point rhythm early, force the Nighthawks into foul trouble, and hang on to the basketball. For the final time at home this season, it's game night. Coming up next, our special sophomore night celebration. We're honoring 12 incredible student athletes from the Nighthawk men's basketball and cheer teams tonight. The ceremony begins next. The Nighthawks and the Colts go to battle in Region 2 play. Coming your way in a moment, right here on the Nighthawk Network. I rarely get sick, and my primary care provider makes sure I stay that way. They're the first person I talk to if I have any questions about infections, medications, or any other health concerns. Now I have the help I need to stay on top of my health game. There are many reasons to have a primary care provider, but if you're not getting regular checkups, you're not getting a complete picture of your overall health. Start a primary care relationship for long-term health benefits. For 50 years, National Park College has been changing the lives of our students and their families to improve their quality of life and better our community. From GED courses to apprenticeships and bachelor's degrees, NPC offers the education students need to succeed. At NPC, we're here to nurture potential. Over 90% of our students receive financial aid, making education accessible without piling on excessive student debt. We're more than just educators. We're job creators. Supporting 1,750 jobs in Garland County, propelling our state and region forward. Every dollar a student invests in an education at NPC is an investment in their financial future. We believe in the power of community, and our impact isn't just in the classroom. It's woven into the fabric of hot springs. Be a part of something transformative. Connect with our community and invest in the future. National Park College. Together we can continue changing lives for the next 50 years. here in the Kettle, home of your undefeated National Park College and Nighthawks sophomore night for 12 amazing sophomore student athletes, three from our Nighthawk cheer team and nine from our Nighthawk men's basketball team. And as we get set for the beginning of tonight's sophomore night ceremony, please feel free to stand by and watch it all unfold. We'll leave it on here at center court and sophomore night ceremony will begin momentarily here in the Kettle. As always, if you're new to the broadcast or a returner to the broadcast, let us know where you're watching from, who you're excited to see. We would love to give you a shout out on the live stream tonight. Please enjoy tonight's sophomore day ceremony. Following uh, afterward will be tip off for tonight's basketball game between the Nighthawks and the Colts.
Tonight we pay tribute to 12 outstanding sophomores who have not only helped NPC soar to new heights this season, but have also left a lasting impact in their time with Nighthawk Athletics. We couldn't be more proud of each of these young men and women, not only for what they've achieved athletically, but academically as well. We wish them the best of luck for the bright future that lies ahead. Introducing your 2023-24 Nighthawk Sophomores. We'll begin tonight's ceremony with our cheer team Introducing sophomore Madeline Attaway. Never without a smile on her face, Madeline brings pride and energy to NPC's cheer team this season. A member of TRIO and an at-large representative for SGA, Madeline's proudest achievement is being on the Dean's List here at NPC, and she will miss cheering for the Nighthawks. After graduation, she plans to transfer to the University of Arkansas Little Rock to pursue a master's degree in social work. She's escorted tonight by her mom, Jasmine. Congratulations to sophomore Madeline Attaway. <laughs> Introducing sophomore Victoria Dalton. Through remarkable leadership and work ethic, Victoria has helped transform Nighthawk home games into an engaging experience for fans in the stands. A member of TRIO, Victoria has served as an at-large representative and historian and currently serves as president of NPC's Student Government Association, her proudest accomplishment at NPC. After National Park College, she plans to transfer to Arkansas State University University of Arkansas, Fort Smith. Congratulations to Ms. Victoria Dalton. And last but certainly not least, introducing sophomore Destiny Kobe. She could not be with us tonight, but absolutely worthy of great recognition. Destiny was paramount in bringing back the cheer program to National Park College, a vocal leader for this program. She takes pride in calling National Park College home and believes in a bright future for Nighthawk Nation. Congratulations to Destiny Kobe. Introducing your Nighthawk men's basketball sophomores first, Mr. Patrick Punch. In many ways, Patrick represents the heart of Nighthawk Nation. Ranked in the all-time top ten in every single category. Last year's All Region honoree takes pride in calling Hot Springs his basketball home. One of his biggest moments this season was shattering the single-game three-point record with eight in a game. He's escorted tonight by his family, mom, Mika, dad, Patrick, sister, Dialantra, grandma, Kathy, and his little nephew, Dorian. Congratulations, Patrick Punch. Congratulations to sophomore Taylor Harrell. Everyone has a favorite Taylor Harrell moment this season. It's easy to see why number one is everyone's best friend. Some of his biggest accomplishments this season are a four game streak of double doubles. He is the number one ranked field goal shooter in the United States of America. Escorted tonight by his four mom, Miss Tia Armstrong. Congrats to Taylor Harrell. Introducing sophomore Anthony Swift. A proficient shot blocker, a dominant defender, Anthony has quickly jumped to fourth place all time in blocks in Nighthawk history in just one season at National Park College. He won't stop until NPC hangs a national championship banner this season. His escorts tonight, Ms. Kendall Stansbury and Tia Armstrong, congrats to Anthony Swift. Introducing sophomore, Jabrian Hill.
The fire starter for your top ranked Nighthawks. He has unrivaled speed, a high basketball IQ, and a knack for getting to the free throw line. Some of JB's biggest accomplishments this season, setting the single game steals record in a colossal win over Des Moines Area Community College. He is your all-time steals leader at NBC. Tonight are his mother, Lynette Jones, his grandmother, Kathy, his girlfriend, Anaya, and his little brother, Bryce. Congratulations to Brian Hill. <laughs> Introducing sophomore, Nikavion White. <laughs> when he broke the single game assist record in his first game in the kennel, we knew he was special. He is NPC's all-time leader in rebounds, blocks, and assists, and he's very close to being the all-time leading scorer at National Park College. He's the first to ever have a triple-double, the first All-American for National Park College, and he has helped bring the national spotlight to NPC. He's escorted tonight by Mr. Keontae Johnson. Congrats to the Kavion White. Introducing sophomore Kieran Collins. A valuable member of the starting lineup this year. He's a true team leader. He's willing to do whatever it takes to help his team win when his number is called. One of Zoe's biggest accomplishments this season was dropping 27 points in a win over CBC. He's escorted tonight by his family, his mom, Nicole, his dad, Gavin, and his sisters, Casey and Kamaya. Congratulations, sophomore Kieran Collins! <laughs> Introducing sophomore TK Kong! Game night here in the kettle. Sophomore night, National Park College plays host to the Colts of University of Arkansas, Cossetot. We wish you were here. If you're local, you may still have time to get here. I don't know where you're gonna sit. It's fine, standing's cool too. Let's take it across the way, Mr. Phil Godwin for tonight's National Anthem. Oh, 
Taking a look at your starting lineups in tonight's game for the University of Arkansas, Cossatot Colts from LaPorte, Texas, number two, Kayvon Wally. From Fort Worth, Texas, number 11, Nick Moye. From Springdale, Arkansas, number 20, Terry Gumpton. From Houston, Texas, number 21, Zion Harper. And from Chicago, Illinois, number 34, Kahari Loggins. And for the National Park Nighthawks tonight, your starting lineup is, you guessed it, the usual suspects, it's all sophomores all the time. Patrick Punch, Taylor Harrell, Jabrian Hill, Nakavion White, and Kieran Zoe Collins. As National Park College looks for the regular season sweep over the University of Arkansas, Cossetot took him down in January in a big win. We like to thank everybody for tuning in on the live stream tonight. I don't know if you could hear the sophomore day ceremony. The fans in the stands are incredible tonight. We had a feeling that they were gonna bring the energy. I hope you were able to hear me on the mic, but uh, just know that, that if you're uh, not here in attendance tonight, your young men, your young women are, are well loved here in the land of the Nighthawk. Big game on hand, it's the last time, no matter what, no matter what rank we are, no matter how many wins we are, this is a bittersweet farewell to the Kettle here at National Park College in Hot Springs. Three road games await following tonight to finish Region 2 play. The Region 2 tournament takes place at Harding University in Searcy, Arkansas. We'll have that action for you here on the Nighthawk Network. And should the Nighthawks advance, they'll head to the district tournament, which takes place in Missouri. National tournament, Danville, Illinois, where we may not be with you at that point due to NJCAA broadcast rules, but we'll take you every single step of the way we can. But first, we gotta take care of some business here in the kettle tonight. We're ready for tip off in tonight's battle. We'll get to your comments on the live stream momentarily. We see you out there and we're so glad that you're here tonight. Let's see who we can grab. I know who I'm going with first. Let me get my comments up and running. There's one. The doctor is in. Hello to Dr. John Hogan, National Park College president. Thank you for everything you've done for Nighthawk Athletics. We wouldn't be here tonight if it weren't for your vision. Thank you for bringing athletics to National Park College. They're watching in Kentucky tonight. 
Sorry that you're not here, but don't worry. We'll put on a show for you. The show has begun. Night hot basketball as we begin. Taylor Harrell for two. That starts the battle between the Nighthawks and Colts. Harrell's on the board. Costa top basketball. Coming the other way, just underway here in the kettle. 30 seconds off the board. Colts basketball. Nick Moye feeds it up high to Kayvon Wally. Wally guarded by Kieran Collins. Colts struggling to get inside the perimeter early in this one. Dishing inside, pass to Nighthawks, too hard. Rebound off the rim, it's Kieran Collins. And a resounding nope the other way from Phil Godwin. The KV on white baseline, kicked out Patrick Punch. Jabrian Hill will call the shots top at the key in the yellow Nikes. Hill driving inside the paint, pulls back for a long three, in and out, no. Rebound Colts, Zion Harper. Harper, the leading rebounder for the men in white tonight. Making the trip up from Locksburg, Arkansas, just outside of DeQueen. 18.40 to play. Colts basketball, Terry Gupton rounding the arch. Brian Hill in his face, down low, dished in, taken away by Taylor Harrell. There's a steal, Nighthawk Rock. Here comes Patrick Punch into the front court. Punch from the elbow, puts it up in traffic, too short, no. Rebound off the rim goes to Gupton. Nighthawks lead it 2-0, 18-20 to go. In front of a packed house, standing room only here at National Park College in Hot Springs. Threading the needle down low, looking for the lead, deep three, no. Rebound off the rim, Patrick Punch. Kieran Collins across the timeline for the home team. Zoe on the move, bounce pass on the inside, finds a man up and in. Guess who? Everybody's best friend. Taylor Harrell with the first four points of the ball game. A four nothing run for the home team. Dressed in their home, black tops and black bottoms. 17.43 to play, jump pass down low to KV on white, providing the pressure. The all time leader in blocks has another one. Harrell with the rebound. Here comes Nikavion White across the timeline. Bounce pass, looking for punch. It's a turnover. Nighthawk super photographer Aaron Brewer is in the building. It's not a Nighthawk basketball game without Brewer on the baseline. Can't wait to see all the great shots. You saw them on your screen from sophomore night. They'll be up tomorrow on our social media channels, Nighthawk Athletics on Facebook, Instagram, and X. Nighthawks come up with another takeaway. 17-12 to play, kind of a slow starter in this one, but the Nighthawks have the command early. Jabrian Hill on the wheel around from Kieran Collins. Here we go. Harrell starts the slow march into the key. Patrick Punch, top of the key, takes the three. Can't get it to go. Rebound, Harrell took a hand to the face. Colts have it coming the other way. Mismatch into the front court. Gupton dishes it out, finding Wally up high. Wally. Jump pass, Nick Moye, guarded by the KV on White, tried to poke it away from behind, taken away by Taylor Harrell, got a hand on it, that's a jump ball. Colts are gonna get the call. Substitutions for University of Arkansas Cop uh, Cossetot. Demasia Hampton will check in, as well as three-point sharpshooter Dylan Glover. Breaking the action, here we go. Colts basketball at the baseline, 16.41 to play. Want to give a special thank you to Miss Micaiah Cravey helping us out on camera this evening up high in the kettle. Down low, shot up over two Nighthawks. There is a foul, the first at the ball game. Kostatot's got free throws coming. Nick Moye goes to the line shooting two. The Colts will go back into a huddle as Moye Gets set, trying to put Kostatot on the board for the first time tonight. First free throw on its way, it's good. Moyes on the board. One more coming for Nick Moye. The Colts send four men back deep. Moye fires and scores. This lead is cut in half. Couple of free throws for Nick Moye for the Colts. Night hot basketball into the front court. Jabrian Hill to Taylor Harrell. Harrell's been creeping up high in the post. Out to Patrick Punch for three off the rim. 
NPC was a slow starter from beyond the arc Monday against ASU Newport with zero three-pointers in the first half. They turned up the juice in the second half, though, knocking down five. Here's the KV on White, the all-time rebounder, picking up a big board for NPC. He comes across the timeline. We've played four minutes here in the kettle. White, deep three on its way, missed it off the front of the rim. Quickly into the front court, Colts basketball, they'll throw it into the student section, it's out of bounds. Nighthawk student section in full force tonight. Want to say hello to Miss Cindy Crowder, Coach Henderson's grandparents watching from Perryville, Arkansas, Mustang country. Let's go Nighthawks. Thanks for tuning in tonight, Cindy. More of your comments coming your way next here on the Nighthawk Network, 15.42 to go. The wheel around has Kieran Zoe Collins for NPC. Bounce pass inside, Nikavi on White, guarded by Glover. White starts his drive. Turns, fires over a man, nope, in and out. Colts basketball coming the other way. It's been a slow go here on sophomore night. 4-2 NPC. Colts looking to tie it up on this possession down low. Bounce off, down low, off the rim, no. Harold trying to get a rebound. J.B. Hill comes up with it. Nighthawk basketball. Jabrian Hill turns on the Jets, looking for Harrell. It was knocked away. It'll stay with NPC. Anthony Swift's fan club is checking in from Las Vegas, Nevada tonight. Hello, Jay. Let's go, Hawks. Thank you for tuning in tonight. Three-pointer won't go for Jabrian Hill. 14.58 to play. Colts moving the basketball, looking to tie it with the jumper. Nope. Taylor Harrell comes up with the rebound. Another big board for Harrell. He has five straight games of double-digit rebounds. The KV on White goes to the hole. He's fouled. And Aaron Brewer gets the shot. Of course he does. White's headed to the free throw line. Hello to the Nakavion White fan club. Hello to Marcel on the broadcast. Best of luck to all the guys moving forward. Nakavion's mom is out there as well. Number one Nakavion White fan. So proud of you. Go Hawks. By the way, Nakavion White was excellent tonight in our uh, featured player interview. We'll have that coming up at halftime tonight. And it uh, looks like our camera is back online tonight. Maybe, maybe not. We'll try to get that up and running for you here momentarily. Nakavion made his first free throw. Two for two. White's on the board with a couple. 6-2 NPC. Nakavion White's featured Nighthawk interview will be played at the conclusion of tonight's basketball game. Here's White for a deep three. Off the rim, no. Loose ball. Colts control it. We've got a lot planned for our halftime ceremony tonight. Some special events. So we'll move Nakavion's interview to post-game. You don't want to miss it. It's phenomenal. A poke away from Kieran Collins coming up with the steal. Feeds it to Jabron Hill. Alley-oop to punch. Couldn't quite get there. I talked to these young men before the start of tonight's game. He said, we're coming out strong. Lots of dunks tonight. We want to give this home crowd what they want. And the fans in the stands tonight are incredible. They've brought signs. They've got custom-made shirts. Patrick Punch's fan club is behind me in the stands. They've got custom Pat Punch shirts. J.B. Hill's fan club is here tonight. They have the most beautiful t-shirts I think I've ever seen with Jabrian Hill. And there's a layup up and in from Glover. That pulls this game within two, six to four. Glover's on the board. He's predominantly a three-point shooter for Kossetot. But it's a close one here with 13.38 to play. The KV on White starts his dribble. Coming up on the far wing at the elbow. Spins looking for Harrell. We're looking for Swift, excuse me. Couldn't find him. Deep three from Kieran Collins. Off the rim. Another missed tray for the home team. Colts could tie it here. Glover into the front court. Guarded by Jabrian Hill. Fakes a pass down low. Up and in. We're tied. Glover with four points early. Tie ball game. 13-10 to go. Here's number 13. Jabrian Hill. Or, uh, Kieran Collins, excuse me. Collins dished out to Jabrian Hill. Wheels around on the wing to Patrick Punch. Nighthawks looking for a statement basket here. Pulls up for two. Punch knocks it down. Punch on the board with his first two of the ball game. 8-6 NPC. 12-47 and counting here in the kettle. First half action. 
in the final home game of the 2023-24 campaign. Down low, Glover. Up and in, they're tied again. Glover with six of the team's eight early. 12-29 to play. Here's Nakavion White to Jabrian Hill. Hill to punch on the perimeter. Pulls up for three, no! The threes aren't falling. They need a rain dance here in the kettle. Glover misses from three. White with the rebound, quickly into the front court to Brian Hill. Hill to the basket, it's up and it's in, J.B. Hill. Hill with his first two in the ball game. The Nighthawks win the race to 10 points. It took eight minutes to get there. Colts with the rock. Glover thought about a three. Scoots inside the paint. Bounce pass down low. Tipped and a foul call on the Kavion White. That's going to send Demijah Hampton to the free throw line for the Colts. He'll shoot two. First one's good. Free throw to tie it. Off the rim, no. Rebound, Anthony Swift. Nighthawks on the move in a close one here in the kettle. 11.42 to play. Brian Hill with the basketball. Feeds to Nakavion White. And there is a blocking foul as Edwin Aquino runs into Nakavion White. Well, the watch party is loud and proud down in Louisiana tonight where Coach Autumn Wyatt and the Nighthawk softball team is watching. Good luck tomorrow, ladies. We're cheering you on against the Bengals. Patrick Punch comes up with a big two-pointer for NPC to extend the lead. Four points for Punch. Deep thief, uh, three from Glover to tie it. In and out, last touch by the Nighthawks. Colts basketball. Nighthawk softball playing a doubleheader against the LSU Eunice Bengals. I believe it starts at 3 o'clock tomorrow, if I remember correctly, on the time change. We wish him the best of luck. Here's a blocking foul. That's, excuse me. It is a turnover against Glover Nighthawk basketball. 11-16 to play. And this is the lowest scoring first half we've seen this season. Nighthawk basketball making their way up the floor to Bryant Hill for the home team. White starts the rotation. Kicked out, down low, Kieran Collins. Jump pass, Hill thought about a three. Jumps inside from the elbow, up and in. Another basket for Jabriant Hill. Five point lead for NPC. 10.50 to go here in the first half. Collins with the pressure up high on Wally. Kayvon Wally dished out, long three, good. It's the first three of the ball game. Timon Proby makes it a two-point game with that tray. Patrick Punch coming the other way. He's fouled going to the hoop, and Patrick Punch heads to the free, free throw line for the home team. The Nighthawks are a perfect two of two tonight. That's Nakavion White. Punch at the line with a couple. First shot, count it. No air high fives tonight for Patrick Punch. If you know, you know. Five points for the sophomore guard from Houston, Texas. He'll get another one. On its way, in and out. Three-point ball game. We're almost at the halfway point of the first half. The Colts have absolutely controlled the tempo of this one, but the Nighthawks lead by three. Down low, that shot behind the back, up and in. It is good. Kahari Loggins has his first bucket of the night. 15-14, NPC. White, coast to coast, too short. Gets his own rebound, puts it up in traffic. He's fouled. And White with two points tonight, both from the charity stripe, will go to the line looking for more. 
Hello to Gilbert watching in Hot Springs tonight. Thank you for tuning in tonight. Karen Jackson is in Huntsville, Texas, cheering on her grandson, Taylor Harrell. Hi, Karen. Wish you were here tonight. Thanks for tuning in. Nikavion White will sink the first one. NPC leads by two. One more coming for Nikavion White. It's on its way. No good. This battle remains close. We are halfway through the first half. Ten minutes to go. Wally finds the bass, uh, bounce pass inside to Loggins. Kahari Loggins down low. Nope. Picked up. Nikavion White with the tip to Kieran Collins into the front court. Alley-oop up for Swift. Couldn't quite get it. Swift loses the rock. Picked up. Bounce pass into the, fan, uh, the stand. Souvenir for a fan. It's going to be Colt basketball. 9.40 to play. Want to say hello to Gerald Marbury on the broadcast from Flippin, Arkansas. Coach Hargrove graduated from Flippin. Very proud of him and the NPC Nighthawks. We can't say enough good things about Coach Dylan Hargrove. Hard work pays off. This is a long time coming. 9.22 to play. Colts basketball for three. In and out, no good. Rebound, White. NPC threads the needle. Cross court pass to Swift. Down low, no! Collins gets it! Oh my goodness, they're gonna call the shot off! Oh my goodness, Collins got the rebound off the rim. No shot for Collins, boy, that would have been beautiful. Doesn't count, but I'll tell you, that was the coolest thing I've seen all season, and that includes a dunk from Anthony Swift and Kieran Collins at the same time. That photo's on social media. Thanks, Aaron Brewer. 8.55 to go. Nighthawks in a nail biter by two. Wally out. Long three. Won't go for Nick Moye. Rebound off the rim. Anthony Swift. The KV on White's into the front court. White starts his dribble. Top of the key. Thinking about three. Five drives in to Anthony Swift. Too hard, gets his own rebound. Swift is fouled on the floor. Well, the fouls continue to rack up in this one. It'll be number four against the University of Arkansas Cossetot tonight. Substitution coming in. Everyone's best friend is back on the floor, Taylor Harrell. Kieran Collins takes a seat. So Coach Dylan Hargrove is going for size down low here. He's got Harrell and Swift on the floor, as well as Nikavion White, Patrick Punch, and Jabrine Hill. Hill with the inbound, and it's tipped away. It'll stay with NPC. Hello to Keon on the broadcast. Let's go, JB Zo K5. My dogs, love you guys. Thanks for tuning in tonight. Nikavion White with the basketball. Down low, spin, move up, and in. Nikavion White. He's chasing Cam Vick for the all-time scoring record. Here at NPC, he is now 102 points away. We think he's going to get there. 8.08 to play here in the first half. Long three, Glover. On its way, nope. Off the rim, they'll let it go out of bounds. Hello to Knox. Coming up with the souvenir. Nighthawk basketball, eight minutes to play. White calls out the offense as the Nighthawks make their way into the front court. White front and center, sending men in motion. Swift and Harrell have a semi-circle down low in the lane. Here's White with the shot, thinking about three. Yep, step back three on its way. Count it! The KV on White, they're cheering back home in Texas. First tray of the game for the Nighthawks, and I'll tell you right now, that is a fresh drink of water. 7.27 to play. Colts looking for an answer. Wally's going to draw the foul. He's headed to the line. He gets the bump off of Patrick Punch. Lead is seven for the home team. Hello to Tanika Jackson, Taylor Harrell's family. They're checking in in Texas. Let's go, Nighthawks. So glad to have you with us tonight, Tanika. Wish you were here. 7.24 to play, free throw up and in. As the Colts try to mount a comeback here after trailing by the most points tonight. Kayvon Wally's on the board for the first time tonight from the free throw line. Here he is at the line, one more to go. Wally's free throw, in and out, no. 
Rebound, NPC, Anthony Swift with another board. The lead is six with 7.16 to play. To Brian Hill into the front court for the NPC family. Harrell handoff to KV on White. White trapped immediately by two young men wearing white. Handoff down low. Harrell is fouled. He rarely misses, and that bucket's not going to count, but he'll try to add two from the free throw line tonight. Taylor Harrell to the line. Harrell with four points early in tonight's action. Want to say hello to my good friend Clayton Fagan. He's watching back home in Cross It tonight. Working hard. Let's go, Nighthawks. Thanks for tuning in, Clayton. Taylor Harrell gets the bounce on the free throw. It's good. One more to go for the big man. Harrell with one more to go. On its way, two for two. Six points for Taylor Harrell. Second on the team, only to Nakavi on White tonight. 6.54 to go. Kayvon Wally with the rock, feeds Glover down low. The bounce pass nearly tipped away. Taylor Harrell tried to get a hand on it, and if anything, he disrupted the rhythm. Shout out to our Nighthawk cheer team, and congratulations to our sophomores, Destiny Covey, Madeline Attaway, Victoria Dalton. The resurgence of the cheer program this season has been magical. Special thank you to Coach Michelle Godwin for everything you do. 6.39 to play. Colts basketball, Glover feeds out. Two on the shot clock, Wally for three, nope. Picked up by Patrick Punch. Punch drives into the front court, looking to bring it all the way home, he's fouled. Punch heads to the line, shooting two. Patrick Punch is one of two from the free throw line tonight. We're gonna add to his total, he has five points tonight. Patrick Punch to the line, shoot two for United. Punch shoots two. With his family watching in the stands behind me, first free throw on its way, good. <laughs> Patrick Punch dribbles, fires, scores. It's a double-digit lead for the home team, National Park College, with 6.26 to go. We'll have a timeout down on the floor. Nighthawks are going to take one. We'll take one with you. 25-15, back in a moment on the Nighthawk Network. For 50 years, National Park College has been changing the lives of our students and their families to improve their quality of life and better our community. From GED courses to apprenticeships and bachelor's degrees, NPC offers the education students need to succeed. At NPC, we're here to nurture potential. Over 90% of our students receive financial aid, making education accessible without piling on excessive student debt. We're more than just educators. We're job Job creators, supporting 1,750 jobs in Garland County, propelling our state and region forward. Every dollar a student invests in an education at NPC is an investment in their financial future. We believe in the power of community, and our impact isn't just in the classroom, it's woven into the fabric of hot springs. Be a part of something transformative. Connect with our community and invest in the future. National Park College. Together we can continue changing lives lives for the next 50 years. Back here in the Kettle, home of your undefeated number one ranked team in the nation, the National Park College Nighthawks, 25 to 15 here in the first half. And we're so glad to, that you're with us on the broadcast tonight. More of your comments coming up here on the Nighthawk Network. We're back in action. Coming up out of the timeout, Colts basketball. Kayvon Wally will kick it over to number three, Jordan Reese. On the floor for the home team, Harrell, White, Punch, Hill, and Swift. Down low, Kahari Loggins in for two. And it's an eight point ball game. The Colts are back on the board, 25-17. Into the front court, NPC. Jabrine Hill with the basketball, feeds Nakavion White, finds Patrick Punch. Taylor Harrell comes up high to set a screen. Punch driving inside, bounce pass down low, looking for Swift. Oops, out of bounds. 
We want to say hello to our Colts fans on the broadcast as well. We see you guys out there, and we're so glad that you're with us tonight. Thank you for tuning in. Let us know where you're watching from, who you're here to see. Doesn't matter which team you're rooting for tonight. We're so happy you're spending your Thursday evening with us. Three-pointer, Wally, nope. Kahari Loggins down low. Yes, he'll draw the foul. He's headed to the line for the and one. Six points tonight for Kahari Loggins from Chicago, Illinois for the University of Arkansas, Cossetot Colts. 5.28 remaining here in the first half. Loggins' free throw is on its way. It's good. The three-point play complete. Loggins with seven points tonight. Jabrian Hill wheels it to Anthony Swift. Swift from the free throw line inside, draws the foul. And more fouls. That's number seven tonight for the Cossetot Colts. Swift to the free throw line, looking for his first points tonight. There have been a lot of action from the free throw line tonight. We had a feeling. The Nighthawks are 8 of 10 ahead of these attempts. Swift fires and scores. Been kind of a close one in this one. Swift, second one, in and out. And the Colts come up with the rebound. And we'll have a whistle down low. Checking back into the game for National Park College. Sophomore number 13, Kieran Collins. 5.04 remaining in the first half here in Hot Springs. Hello to Uncle Freddy on the broadcast. Aunt Becky, they're watching in Lubbock, Texas, cheering on the Cavion White and the National Park Nighthawks tonight. Thank you for tuning in. So glad to have you. Wish you were here. Here's a floater down low off the rim. Nope. Rebound. Taylor Harrell dishes out to Jabrian Hill. Looking to bring it home. No. But the Cavion White comes up with the rebound. He's fouled. The Cavion White's going to head to the free throw line for a one and one. Foul is going to be on number 20, Terry Gupton, his first personal. The Cavion White's at the line, a six point lead for NPC. Eight points for White tonight. He'll miss the one and one. Rebound, Colts. Loggins coming the other way quickly into the front court. Loggins looking to do something quick with it. He's going to travel. That's a turnover. Happy feet. Coughed up the rock. Hey, Jim, watching in Central California. Cheers to his brother, Phil Godwin, watching from courtside. So glad to have you. Thanks for tuning in tonight. Night hot basketball. Here's Zoe Collins. Kieran Collins from the free throw line. Count the bucket. There's a foul. Collins putting the team on his back, getting the bucket. Collins first of the night. He's headed to the line for the and one. Collins shoots one. Checking in for the Colts, number five, Ryan Clemens. Jordan Reese will take a seat. Looks like he may be assessed by the training staff. Zoe shooting. Free throw, no. Nighthawks have missed a couple. Here as of late, 4.23 to play. Collins right back on defense with the press. Looking to get the ball back. There's a tip away. Jabrian Hill comes up with the rock. Here come the Nighthawks. Hill tries to jam it in. Couldn't quite get there. And he comes up with the rock on the loose ball anyway. Nighthawks are going to get another attempt here. Hill. Taking it to the hoop. Jabrian Hill up and it's in. The lead is 10 again. Coach Dylan Hargrove firing his team up from the bench in a 30-20 advantage with 3.48 to play. Swatted away by Harrell. Down low, the shot is up, and it's in. Zion Harper has his first bucket of the ball game. Eight-point game, NPC. Here we go. 3.30 to go for Jabrine Hill, feeding Kieran Collins. 
eyeing up the Colts defense. Patrick Punch almost had an opening for a three. Down low, Taylor Harrell, everyone's best friend, does it again, up and in for two. Eight points tonight for Harrell. 3-10 remaining. Colts basketball. Only 1-3 tonight for University of Arkansas Cossetot. Down low, Wally draws the foul. He's headed to the line for free throws. He's made one of two tonight. Hello to Eric on the broadcast. JB Zo, we're tapped in, man. Let's do it. Yes, sir. Keyshawn cheering on the KV on White and those National Park Nighthawks tonight. Want to say hello to Danielle, Coach Stan's wife and son watching from DeQueen. The rest of the family in Houston, Texas saying let's go Colts. Thank you so much for tuning into the broadcast tonight. We are so glad to have you. First free throw was good. Wally gets another one. Second shot on its way, count it. Eight point ball game, the Colts climbing back, clawing back against the deficit. Under three minutes remain here in the first half. 2.52 to go, here's the on White. Kieran Collins left wide open for three. Off the mark, no, Swift trying to get a rebound, couldn't quite get there, it's picked up by Zion Harper. Another big board for the big man, Harper. Colts basketball, front court. Collins almost had a steal, tipped it away, and it was controlled out of bounds. Wally coughs up the rock. Nighthawks are going to get it back. Two thirty-eight to go. Jabriant Hill for NPC. Looking for Anthony Swift up high. Needing help, finds Hill. Hill drives, fires, lays it in for two. They're spreading the wealth tonight in scoring. Jabrine Hill with eight. 2.15 to go, Kahari Loggins. Hands it off to Terry Gupton. Gupton has his hands full. Feeding it across the way, Kayvon Wally for three, yes. Excuse me, they will not count that. It's an air ball, could have fooled me. It's off the net. Nikavion White takes a three. Nikavion White couldn't get it to go. Rebound, Colts, Wally coming across the way. Dished out, Gupton thought about a tray. Coming in down low, contact, no foul. Loose ball, Nighthawk Nation. Throws it away, Swift finds Wally. Loggins down low, and he'll have to get it away. 13 on the shot clock, still plenty of time. Down low, Harper. Draws contact, is that a travel? Jump ball, jump ball, NPC. Well, it's been a fun one in the kettle tonight. Aunt Valerie's in Richardson, Texas. Hello, Valerie, go NPC. So glad to have you with us tonight. All the usual suspects, the fan club, all the watch parties, they're all out there. Here's Kieran Collins from downtown, a heartbreaker off the rim. Colts basketball, 1.13 to play. Loggins to Wally, that's a one-two punch for Cossetot. Gupton thought about three. Collins in his face, starts the dribble. Fed out to Loggins. One minute to go in this first half. Bounce pass inside, Kahari Loggins, too short, nope. Rebound, Harper. Colts basketball, down low, knocked away, out of bounds, Nighthawks come up with it. 50 seconds to go. Monique is in College Station, Texas, cheering on Dylan Glover and the Colts. Glover's had a hot start tonight, six points in the first half. No threes yet for Glover, but have a feeling they're on their way. 50 seconds remaining. It was a close one and a low scoring one through at least the first half of this thing. Shout outs to sophomore Jabrian Hill coming in with the cleanup. And he makes his family proud here in the stands. <laughs> sophomore leadership right there. And now Hill's just gonna run back onto the court and play some basketball here for NPC. Punch, Hill, Swift, White, and Collins on the floor for the home team. 
Hill lets it roll. Picks up the dribble at half court. Here we go. 45 seconds left. Nakavi on white, guarded by Gupton to Swift. Swift drives inside, posts up, pulls up, knocks it down. Swifty for two. He's got three points tonight. 30 seconds remain. The Colts have to shoot. They cannot hold. Kayvon Wally, guarded by Kieran Collins. Down low, knocks it down for two. It's a 10-point game. The Nighthawks can hold for the final shot of the first half if they choose to. 12 seconds to go. White across the front court. White driving. The KV on White to the hoop. Tips up the ball. No. Loose ball. Five seconds left. Colts basketball. Loggins from half court. Dished in. Three-pointer at the buzzer. Yes. Three-pointer, Ryan Clemens. That's how the first half comes to an end. Here in the final home game of the season here at National Park College. 36-29, Nighthawks lead it at the break. Let's take a break, and then we've got a special event happening for you here at home. You don't want to miss it. Nighthawk basketball continues in a moment on the Nighthawk Network. I rarely get sick and my primary care provider makes sure I stay that way. They're the first person I talk to if I have any questions about infections, medications, or any other health concerns. Now I have the help I need to stay on top of my health game. There are many reasons to have a primary care provider, but if you're not getting regular checkups, you're not getting a complete picture of your overall health. Start a primary care relationship for long-term health benefits. At half court, Athletic Director Rich Thompson with a special message for Nighthawk Nation tonight. But it costs a good chunk of change to get us to Tenville. So if you see some of my athletes walking around, they have the boxes with the um, Dr. Wade's over there. He's got a box. If you have some spare change, please throw it in there. You can also scan the QR code. Get a tax-free donation to the program. We need all of your help to get there. This is a big, expensive uh, thing. Um, we've got a lot of work to do still, but we know that these boys are going to be there. Um, unlike NCAA, we pay for our national. So we don't have big TV deals, but we need you. So we appreciate the community of Hot Springs and all that it gives us. Um, to get these boys there, we would love to have your donation. We thank you. Go Nighthawks. We appreciate you being here. Rich Thompson, NPC Athletic Director. We're trying to get this National Park College Nighthawk men's basketball team to nationals in Danville, Illinois in the middle of March. And if you are listening on the broadcast, watching on the broadcast, if you would like to support Nighthawk Nation on the road to nationals, if you would like to contribute, you can go online to np.edu slash athletics to make your contribution today. You can make a contribution of any dollar amount that you so choose. And we thank you for your support of Nighthawk Nation. On the website, np.edu slash athletics, this is where it will take you, and you'll find the Road to Nationals button on your screen. You can click that, and you can safely and securely submit an online financial donation. All proceeds, 100%, go to funding the team's trip onto the postseason and the national tournament in Danville, Illinois, coming up in just about a month from now. We appreciate your support of Nighthawk Athletics this season. And of course, special thank you to our Nighthawk cheer team for all the great things they've done this year. And we'll let you take a sneak peek in case you've never seen the halftime performances. Watch and enjoy the great festivities from our Nighthawk cheer team tonight.
music plays, you guys start walking in a circle. The first round is just practice. Thank you. Okay, walk in your circle. Walk forward. Okay, so everyone gets the rules of the game. That was what the first round was for, okay? So everyone stand back up. Now we're going to start taking away chairs. Tanaya, get faster with it. Faster. Hold on, we're about to start round two. Okay, start walking your circle. Keep walking, don't stop. music trouble. Special thank you to our Nighthawk cheer team for the fun festivities tonight. First half stats coming your way next here on the Nighthawk Network. For 50 years, National Park College has been changing the lives of our students and their families to improve their quality of life and better
better our community. If it were not for National Park College, I would not have the successful ultrasound clinic that I have today. My mom had uh, gone to school here. She was actually part of the first class 50 years ago, and she has wonderful memories, and she really credits it with transforming her life. So she encouraged me to do the same. So I came out here uh, to the college when I was 24 years old. I took classes for a few years, and it was a wonderful experience. I mean, National Park College is a gem in our community. It was close for me, it was convenient, and the instructors were amazing. Their curriculum was robust. From GED courses to apprenticeships and bachelor's degrees, NPC offers the education students need to succeed. The radiology program played a huge role in my career development. I knew I needed to have the radiology program behind me to further my education and go for my ultrasound degree. I took biology from Dr. Robinette. She was just a wonderful professor. She made the subject come alive. Um, I have great memories from that class. I've always wanted to be a nurse and I, I oftentimes would look back at my high school journal and it says where do you see yourself in 10 years and I said I would see myself nursing. National Park College uh, afforded me that opportunity. At NPC, we're here to nurture potential. Over 90% of our students receive financial aid, making education accessible without piling on excessive student debt. Um, the many scholarships that are offered here at this college were so helpful along with the financial assistance, which left me with almost zero burden on student loans. When I attended college here when I was 24, I was working full time and I didn't have a lot of extra money. I got um, scholarships and financial aid through FAFSA to attend college here, um, and that definitely was the linchpin that made me choose coming back to college was the fact that I was not going to be out of pocket very much money. We're more than just educators. We're job creators, supporting 1,750 jobs in Garland County, propelling our state and region forward. Now, as a nurse practitioner, I'm able to look back and still have those partnerships with my instructors and friendships with um, former students um, that I was in school with and see how far we've got come in nursing. The connection that National Park plays with uh, their students and employers, working at the hospital, the majority of hospital personnel are graduates of National Park College. National Park College represents the pipeline of the future workforce. Every dollar a student invests in an education at NPC is an investment in their financial future. One of the most important things um, as being a professional is to give back. Um, each one reach one. And so after graduating from National Park, I decided that I would offer scholarships to the LPN to RN um, student, and I've been doing that since I graduated. It's evident that learning is the focus here at National Park College and student success is the goal. Uh, we talk a lot in my profession about how college is not a career, college is a platform. We believe in the power of community and our impact isn't just in the classroom, it's woven into the fabric of Hot Springs. Be a part of something transformative. Connect with our community and invest in the future. I believe that student success has always been the goal at National Park. They prioritize in learning. Um, they always make sure that um, the student-centered approach is always present. When I look at where this campus first started and to where it is now, the sky is the limit with National Park College. Connect with National Park College. Invest in your workforce. Grow our community. National Park College. Together we can continue changing lives for the next 50 years. Back in action here in the Kettle, halftime in the home finale for National Park College this evening. I'm Mark Oliver with National Park College. A lot of fans in the house tonight. Nighthawk super fan River Oliver with the stunner shades and the nope sign. Nighthawk super fan, come on, buddy. Come on, Ben Oliver is in the house tonight. And my dad, 
Peek on over this way. This way. There he is. My dad is here on the broadcast, Mr. Randall Oliver. It's his first time getting to see a night hot game, his very first time. I think he picked a good one tonight. I'll bring you first half stats for you as we get started in the second half tonight. First for the University of Arkansas, Cossetot. They were led by Kahari Loggins with seven points, six for Dylan Glover, five for Kayvon Wally. Three points for Timon Proby, Proby, excuse me. Three for Ryan Clemens with the three at the buzzer. Two for Nick Moye and two for Zion Harper. For your National Park Nighthawks, they were led by Jabrian Hill and Nakavion White, each with eight points in tonight's action as Kayvon Wally knocks down the first bucket of the second half. So eight for White. Eight for Hill, also eight for Taylor Harrell. So the three-headed monster returns, leading the Nighthawks and scoring seven for Patrick Punch as Punch puts up a floater and can't get it to go. Three points for Anthony Swift, two for Kieran Collins, just six Nighthawks scoring in this one. But they held on to the halftime lead. Now it's 36-31, Nighthawks by five. We switch sides of the court's Colt basketball. Kayvon Wally. Puts one up in traffic, knocks it down for two. And just like that, the Colts with a hot start. Wally with four points to start the second half. It's a one-score basketball game. Nighthawks looking to answer big. Collins down low, can't get the call. We've got a jump ball down low, and we've got a Colts player slow to get up. As we take a look across the way, that's Kahari Loggins. Looking less than 100% out there. Looks like he's up and looks like he's going to stay in the game. He's going to walk it off. Nighthawks by three, just underway here in the second half. More of your comments coming your way on the Nighthawk Network. Want to say hello to Angie Whitley on the broadcast. I see you, NPC cheerleader Rose Whitley. We love Rose here at NPC, by the way. Make sure you don't get hit with the basketball tonight. That's right. You know, I had a chance to talk with Rose before the game started, and she said, thank you for making me an honorary member of the basketball team. And I said, you know what? You did it yourself. You took one for the team. Back in play, NPC, Nakavion White to the hoop, pushed. He'll go to the free throw line, shooting two. Nakavion White heads to the line. Nakavion White is three of four from the stripe tonight. He has eight first half points. Is looking to add to his total here. Of course, he's chasing Cam Vick for the all-time scoring record. First shot in and out. That's the second missed free throw for Nakavion tonight. White will get another one, don't worry. On its way good. The lead is four for NPC. White has the first point of the second half for National Park College, 37-33. Wally directing traffic guarded by Zoe Collins. Wally. Inside, has it stripped away. There's a reach in foul. This one may be off the ball. It is, it's against Patrick Punch. That's the second personal for Punch, according to my sheet. Hello to Steven Johnson, JB Hill's grandpa watching from Washington State. So glad to have you, Steven. Thanks for tuning in. Phyllis Wally's on the broadcast from LaPorte, Texas, cheering on Kayon Wally. So glad to have you. Back in action, Colt basketball. Kayvon Wally with the rock. Dished in down low, Zion Harper. Harper turns, fires up high to Wally. Wally from the elbow, kicked out. Colt's trying to move it in, nine on the shot clock. Terry Gupton to Wally, guarded by Collins. Puts one up in traffic, denied. Wally gets the rock back, reach in. Punch couldn't steal it. Gupton for three. As time expires, the shot won't go. Nighthawks have it on the rebound. Down low, Kieran Collins up and in. The toilet bowl roll, Kieran Collins. That's the first field goal of the second half. Collins has four points tonight. Let's go, Zoe. Let's go, NPC. 17-38 remaining. The Nighthawks looking for win number 23 this season. Nick Moye with a floater for two. The lead is four. Colts staying within arm's reach of the number one team in the country tonight. Jabrian Hill from downtown, no. Rebound Gupton, and the Colts will get another opportunity to cut the deficit here. Gupton, front court, dished out. Moye 
Moye down low, looking for Harper. Harper finds the bottom of the bucket for two. Zion Harper, four points tonight. Three minutes off the board in this high-flying second half where the Colts have come out with the momentum. Nighthawk Rock, Nakavion White go into the hoop, and we lost our camera briefly. We apologize. We're going to work to get that back up and running. And we've got free throws coming. At the line, the KV on White with free throws coming for NPC and a two point lead for White. First one, no. White with another one on its way. There it is, and the Nighthawk lead is three. Special thank you to Miss Micaiah Cravey helping us out on camera this evening. It's not her fault, ladies and gentlemen. We have so many people in the stands. A court is likely to get sat on eventually, literally. Uh, I don't have the numbers, but let me tell you something. I've been a part of Nighthawk basketball since day one in 2017. When these were rubber floors, there wasn't a bird on the court. There wasn't a whole lot of anything in this gymnasium. This is the biggest crowd I've ever seen in seven years of night hot basketball. No doubt about it. 16.30 to play. Gupton down low. A foul on the reach in. Jabrian Hill on the personal. Second team foul for NPC here in the second. Thank you, Cindy, for your kind words on the broadcast. We enjoy having all of you. We do this for you, and we can't wait to go to Nationals too. The journey is just beginning. Wally down low, up and in for two. It's a one-point ball game. University of Arkansas, Cossetot threatening. Six points for Wally in the second. He has 11 overall. And the Cossetot Colts are now threatening to try to get their first lead of the ball game. Student section on their feet here at home. 16-15 to play. Here's Kieran Collins. Collins to White. Thought about a three. Guarded by Kahari Loggins. White to the hoop. Couldn't get it. Knocked out of bounds. Last touched by the Colts. Taylor Harrell tried to get his hands on it. Couldn't quite reel it in. The Nighthawks need everybody's best friend right now. We've got a foul. No, excuse me, that's shot clock. They're going to reset it to 20. Nighthawks inbound. Bounce pass to KV on White. White up over three Colts. No. Rebound Harper. Here comes UA Cossetan with an opportunity to grab the lead. 15-56 to play. Kayvon Wally across midcourt. Wally drives. Stays with the dribble. Denied at the rim. He's fouled. And I think Patrick Punch may have just picked up his third personal. Yes. Kayvon Wally, who's been the fire starter here in the second half, now goes to the line with an opportunity to tie it and potentially gain the lead. We're tied. Wally for the first lead of the night. There it is. Colts on top. 15-49 to go. Normally that would silence the crowd, but they're getting loud. Trying to fire up this team dressed in black. Punch inside the paint. Off the rim, fouled. And Patrick Punch, who went to the free throw line, a couple of different times tonight. We'll make his third trip tonight. 
Seven points in the first half. Punch looking to add to his total. Punch's mom, dad, grandmother, sister, and nephew in attendance tonight. Free throw good. Tying the game at 41. One more to go for number zero. And the Nighthawks regain the lead. Nine for Punch. How did the Colts answer? Wally to the rim, no. Harper rebound, yes. Back and forth we go. Zion Harper. Six points tonight for the leading rebounder for Cossetot. 15-12 remaining. Collins rounds the wing, finding the KV on White. White dribble drive, turns, fires, fouled. The shots aren't falling for NPC, but we had a feeling that that whistle was going to blow and that the free throws were coming. White to the free throw line. He's been there a lot. His fifth trip tonight makes the first one. We're tied. One more for Nakavion White. He's six of nine. Seven of 10. <laughs> 12 points for Nakavion White. And the crowd gets loud, stomping their feet on their seat. Loggins with the rock for the Colts. Stripped away. There's the steal by Jabrian Hill. Kieran Collins with the rock into the front court. Collins dished in down low, threw it away. Wally coming the other way, one on two. Wally gets it to go. Kayvon Wally's hot night continues, especially in the second half where he has 10 of 15 points tonight. Back and forth, 45-44, the Nighthawks, Nakavion White. That's his first field goal of the ball game, or the second half, excuse me. 14 for White. 14 minutes to go. Wally for three. Off the back of the rim. Everybody's best friend, Taylor Harrell. The hero when you need him the most. Down low, Patrick Punch, count it. Timeout, Colts. 48-45, NPC. We're back in a moment on the Nighthawk Network. I rarely get sick. And my primary care provider makes sure I stay that way. They're the first person I talk to if I have any questions about infections, medications, or any other health concerns. Now I have the help I need to stay on top of my health game. There are many reasons to have a primary care provider. But if you're not getting regular checkups, you're not getting a complete picture of your overall health. Start a primary care relationship for long-term health benefits. Back in action here in the kettle, so we're told that it is not a team timeout, rather an injury timeout. I did not see who it was on, I apologize. But we are back in action here in the kettle. Nakavion White looks like he's gonna come off for a breather, Anthony Swift. Looks like he will check in for Nighthawk Nation. Swift, Collins, Hill, Punch, and Harrell on the floor for the home team. We're so glad to have you with us tonight. Happy Thursday to you and for the final time here in Hot Springs, but not the final time this season. No way, no how. Postseason basketball will be coming your way before you know it. So Nakavion White took a finger to the eyeball and the biggest denial of the night, Swift with the monster block. Three-pointer, Collins, no. Loose ball down low, and the Nighthawks are fighting for it. We've got a reach in foul. So to update you on things, the injury timeout was for Nakavion White. Took a finger to the eyeball, had to come out for a spell. He's going to come back in. So it looks like Swift, or no, excuse me, Harrell will come out. White is back on the floor. Three-point ball game. 13-19 to play. And certainly, 
the closest contest we've seen in the kettle all season long. University of Arkansas Cossata on a three game winning streak in region two play, they're no slouch. Inside ball nearly stripped, Glover looks like he's gonna be fouled going up for a shot. Foul is on the KV on White. I only have one on White. I do not have the official foul total. At the line, Glover shooting two. Glover's first trip to the stripe. Scoreless in the second half so far, misses the first one. A resounding nope across the way from Phil Godwin. Second attempt. No. Double miss. And the Nighthawk fans breathe a breath of, breath of fresh air there with 12.56 to go. Here's Jabrian Hill. Hill with the dribble. Small screen by Swift. Bounce pass finds the KV on White. White has its pockets picked. Taken away by Moye. Colt basketball. Kayvon Wally into the front court. Harper and White going at it. The screen falls through. 15 on the shot clock for Wally. The leading scorer for the Colts tonight. Fires, can't get it to go. Rebound off the rim. Zoe Collins stolen away from Harper. Here's Anthony Swift. Down low, up and off the rim. No, Collins is there to save the day. Kieran Collins for two. And a beautiful putback for number 13. It's so loud, I literally, I cannot hear myself in my own headset. Long three-pointer, nope. And a battle cry from Jabrine Hill down on the floor. This is exactly the kind of energy we hoped for tonight. I don't even know if you guys can hear me anymore. You know what? It's fine. It's great. Five-point ball game, Nighthawk basketball, 11.58 to go. With his family cheering in the stands behind him, here's Jabrian Hill. Anthony Swift in the KV on White. White for three. Oh, yeah. I will likely not have a voice after tonight, and that's fine. Timeout, Colts. 53-45, we're back in 60 seconds on the Nighthawk Network. For 50 years, National Park College has been changing the lives of our students and their families to improve their quality of life and better our community. From GED courses to apprenticeships and bachelor's degrees, NPC offers the education students need to succeed. At NPC, we're here to nurture potential. Over 90% of our students receive financial aid, making education accessible without piling on excessive student debt. We're more than just educators. We're job Job creators, supporting 1,750 jobs in Garland County, propelling our state and region forward. Every dollar a student invests in an education at NPC is an investment in their financial future. We believe in the power of community, and our impact isn't just in the classroom, it's woven into the fabric of Hot Springs. Back in action here in the second half, and no, the volume has not went down a tick here in the kettle, and we love it. Colt basketball coming out of the timeout. There's a steal. Patrick punch. Bounce pass down low. Nakavion White looking to finish at the rim. Yes, he does. Nakavion White pushes the lead back to 10. And this crowd is loving it tonight. They're going to fix the shot clock here in the kettle. I literally don't even have my crowd mic turned on. That's a fact. They're behind me making a racket. <laughs> and they know it too. Colts basketball. Wally for three. Off the rim, nope. Cross court down low, Jabrian Hill with the layup. The Nighthawks are starting to run away. Double figures in scoring for Jabrian Hill. He was held to just nine points in the last game. That was his first time in 13 games that he didn't make it to double figures. I knew he'd avenge it tonight. 
12 point lead. Out of bounds. The Nighthawks are roaring back in a big way. Ten thirty-three to go. Jabrian Hill with the rock. Hill turns on the Jets behind his back with the dribble and the finish. Straight magic for Jabrian Hill. Twelve for Hill. Valerie said it best. It's going down in the kettle tonight. Fade away. Won't go, rebound White. Here come the Hawks. McAvion White dribbles down low, puts it up and puts on a show. The lead is 16. Timeout on the floor, Kossetov. Look at them behind me, they're going crazy behind me. 61-45, Nighthawk Nation. What a game. What a game. Cindy Crowder says, get fired up, Nighthawks, absolutely. Ariana Thomas is on the broadcast saying, let's go Colts, go Nick, number 11. Thank you for tuning in to the show tonight. So glad to have you. Are you entertained? Nighthawks putting on a show, their home finale, looking for win number 23 on the season. Of course, we've got some road games coming up, some pretty big road games. We've got to go on the road to Shorter College. We've got to go on the road to SAU Tech and the regular season finale on the road in Harrison, Arkansas against the North Ark Pioneers. And then it's postseason time. We won't be with you in the kettle, sure, but we'll be with you every step of the way on social media. Nighthawk Athletics on Facebook, Instagram, and X. Get a look at these guys. They're intense. Some of NPC's best and brightest doing great things, not only for our student athletes, but for our students here as well here at National Park College. We couldn't do what we do without them. What a year it's been. 61-45 as we resume play. Nighthawk baseball's in the house. Every single one of them, all 45. They'll be home tomorrow against Southeast Arkansas Community College. We'll have a home double header for you beginning at one o'clock on the Nighthawk Network. I will be hoarse and it will be great. The KV on white floater, off the rim, too short, no. Kahari Loggins with the rebound. Here comes Glover and the Colts. Dished in down low, Kayvon Wally. Looking to stop the bleeding here in the second half. Long three, got it. From downtown, Edwin Aquino, his first points of the ball game. And for the Colts, the rally starts now. We've got nine minutes remaining in regulation. 61-48. Hill finds White, guarded by Loggins down low. Hill thought about a deep three, takes that deep three, won't get it to go, loose ball. Kieran Collins comes out of the sky, punch from the corner, yes! Patrick Punch, the team's leading three-point shooter this season, has another one. 16-point lead. Aquino to Wally on the wing. Wally makes a move to the basket, he's fouled. Down on the bottom left corner of your screen, I don't know where River Oliver found a Jabrian Hill t-shirt, but I'm loving it. He's standing courtside, holding up the JB Hill swag with the stunner shades on. You can't put a price tag on this level of entertainment. You just can't. So free throw for Wally, in and out. Nope. Coolest five-year-old I know. Wally will get another one. Wally at the line. Second attempt coming up. On its way, good. Six.
16 points for Kevon Wally tonight. 8.07 to play. Long three from Punch. Won't get it. Wally off the rim with another big board for the Colts. Put the team on his back. Bounce pass down low. Loggins down to the hoop. Can't get it. Nope. Here comes Nikavion White. Bounce pass, Kieran Collins, jump pass, down low, Patrick, punch! Incredible. 16 for punch. That matches his scoring total from Monday night when he led the Nighthawks over. ASU Newport. Fade away, no! The KV on white slows things down a little bit. These guys have been running non-stop a close ball game. You got to tip your hat to this Colts team. They came ready to fight tonight. Nighthawks finding the upper hand late. Down to the hoop. White fouled hard to the floor. Headed back to the free throw line. So White heads to the free throw line. He's been there a lot. First shot, no good. 21 points for Nikavion White tonight. Chasing Cam, Hill, or Cam Vick, of course. He needs about 20 points per game in order to, to break the record. We think he's going to get there. White's second shot on its way, good. Across the way, I heard a familiar name. Number 24, Brody Tucker is on the floor for the home team tonight. Everybody loves Brody here in Nighthawk Nation. One of the hardest working student athletes you'll ever meet. TK Kong in action as well for the home team. Here's the defense, Glover for three, swish. I knew Glover would find his mark. He finally got there. One of the best three point shooters in all of region two has his first tonight. Nine points for Glover. 6.35 to play. Collins with the rock for NPC. Has it knocked away. Souvenir for Colin Thompson on the bench for NPC. Tucker will inbound. 10 on the shot clock as Collins will inbound. Inbound, J.B. Hill. Hill sizing up the defense. They're taking their time. Five on the shot clock. Here comes Hill, turning on the Jets. In traffic, fires. Can't quite get there. Mismatch into the front court. Aquino dished out. Glover, his foot was on the line. That's a two. But he'll knock it down. Glover in double figures with 11. Six minutes remain. Five fifty-four to go. Here's Kieran Collins for NPC. Nikavion White, front and center, top of the key. Kong with the pressure. White's thinking about a three-pointer. There it is. It's on its way. Sky high off the rim. No. Wally with the rebound. Here come the Colts. Making quick work into the front court. Kicked out. Glover for two. Can't get it. Glover gets his own rebound. Wheels around. Kicked out. Loggins. Loggins down low to Glover. He'll try another three-pointer. Off the rim. Nope. Rebound. TK Kong comes up with the rock. Jabrian Hill into the front court for NPC. Hill takes his time, allowing his team to catch up, take a breather. We've been high flying all night long here in the kettle tonight. Bounce past Tucker, thought about a three. You know they're trying to set up 2-4 for the tray. White starts his move to the center of the court. To Tucker for three. On its way, no. He'll get another chance, don't you worry. 5-18 to go. And the clock is actually frozen. They're going to stop play here. The clock has stopped. And they're going to work to fix the malfunction. And we're working to get the clock back online. With all the action tonight, maybe even the clock is worn out. It's hot here in the kettle tonight. Record crowd here at home. Clayton says, what an insane run. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. Way to go, Nighthawks. 
Cindy's asking, what about those away games? No, not the, the Region 2 away games, the last three conference games to close the season. Unfortunately, not. However, I believe all three opponents do live stream their games. And uh, if you don't know this already, now you know on our game day posts on social media, even if we're not taking the road with the teams, we'll put the opposing live stream links in those posts on Facebook, Instagram, and X. So you still have a chance to catch the Nighthawks on the road. Now, when it comes to the postseason, we're going to go as far as we're allowed to go. So we believe that's going to be the Region 2 tournament in Searcy, as well as the District tournament, which will take place somewhere in central Missouri. We don't quite know yet. That's still yet to come. But when it comes to the national tournament side of things, we believe that's the end of the road as far as the Nighthawk Network broadcasting goes. Typically, the NJCAA will bring the national championship tournament in-house, which means I'll be a fan instead. 519 remaining here in action and we're working to get the clock fixed and it's a free timeout for each team on the broadcast tonight and we've got all sorts of fans little Benjamin Oliver's out here on the broadcast tonight and uh, we're having a great time here in the kettle tonight wish you were here and boy what a sophomore night it has been and we see all of our fans behind us waving to the camera absolutely nine fantastic men's basketball sophomores three great Cheers, sophomores as well. And yeah, come on, come on, get a part of this. Hello there. Hello to all of our fans behind the broadcast booth here in the kettle. We'll try to wheel it around as much as we can. And I believe we've got a show going on down here with a youngster on the court. That's a member of the Jabrian Hill fan club. Future Nighthawk on our hands right here. This is Bryce Jones. This is JB's little brother. And why not entertain the home crowd? And I know you can't see it well in the broadcast, but has one of the best t-shirts I've ever seen in my entire life. Three of the coolest pictures I've ever seen from Aaron Brewer. And look at this, this crowd is going crazy for Bryce. He's gonna go home and turn on YouTube and be like, whoa. Bryce with a seat on the Nighthawk bench tonight. What a treat for the youngster. So we're back in action. We've adjusted things a little bit. There is four minutes and 36 seconds remaining on the game clock tonight. Here we go. Aquino to Wally. Colts basketball. UA Cossetot trails. And we'll adjust our scoreboard here, 67-55. Loggins to Glover, back and forth we go. Collins trying to get a steal for NPC, there it is. Collins pokes it into the front court, stays with it, and it's knocked away. It's gonna be Colt basketball, but you gotta love the effort from Zoe Collins, up by double digits, fighting for every possession. And we may have another clock issue here. So they're gonna fix the shot clock. I believe they said three seconds. That's a long way to go. Jabrian Hill back with the floor mop again tonight. What leadership out of that sophomore. Hats off to number three. A name that is sure to be long remembered after his playing days at NPC are over. We will miss him. What you don't see out of these young men is they're not only great student athletes, they're great students in the classroom, yes. They're just great individuals. Yesterday, the Nighthawks had an opportunity to go speak at the Hot Springs Rotary Club. The Cavion White and Patrick Punch had the opportunity to address some of Hot Springs' finest Many of them are in attendance here tonight, here in the kettle. And a special treat afterward, the vice presidents for NPC got to take Nikavion White and Patrick Punch down Higdon Ferry Road here in Hot Springs where Nikavion White's billboard stands. And I hope mom and dad know about it, and if you don't, now you know. 
But if you haven't seen it yet here in the Spa City, it's beautiful. The KV on White donning the billboard down Higdon Ferry Road. If you're a Hot Springs local, headed out towards the Hot Springs Mall area. Go by, check it out. It's great. 12-point basketball game. Tick-tock. Time is ticking away in the Nighthawk home finale tonight. NPC looking for win number 23. Jabrine Hill with the bounce pass to TK Kong. Kong posts up, pulls up, can't get it. But the tip up is good, and it's Jabrine Hill for two. Let's go, let's make a noise. 14 for Hill tonight. He usually averages 16. Deep three, Aquino, no. Loggins with the putback, he's fouled. The KV on White was turned around backwards with his hands up. He draws the foul anyway. The crowd not happy with the call. I don't think they'll change anything. Hello to Dre on the broadcast saying, go Colts. Free throw on its way, good. That one's good for Kahari Loggins. He's been quiet here in the second half. Second shot. In and out. Rebound. Kong. Nighthawk Rock. 13 point lead. 330 remaining. White hangs on to the rock. Guarded by Nick Moye. Out on the wing is Kieran Collins. Collins thought about a three. Stays with his dribble. Back to the bench. Now driving inside. Up over Glover. Up and in. That's all Zoe. Kieran Collins with another bucket. Eight points tonight. Front court Colts basketball. Moye thought about a three. Push off. Collins goes down. Moye with the two. Six for Nick Moye. Creating great space on the play, no whistle. 2.43 to go, Jabrine Hill with the hook shot, no. Collision, we've got a foul down low, it's a late call. I believe the leading free throw shooter for NPC is about to head to the line. Jabrine Hill chasing Cam Vick's all-time free throw mark, he needs 20. It's his first opportunity tonight. One and one coming. Clock stopped at two minutes and 40 seconds. Across the way, athletic director Rich Thompson with the floor mop. There's nothing that that man does not do here at National Park College, and we love him very much. Hill sinks the first one. Hill with one more to go. On its way, good. An 80% free throw shooter. Hill gets them both. 16 points tonight. The Colts have the rock, feeding it in down low to Dimage Hampton, up and in for two. It's Hampton's first field goal of the night. He has three points. The Colts get to 60. Time running out on their comeback, however. 2.13 to play. Jabrine Hill drives down low, no call. And now a mismatch into the front court. Kayvon Wally looking to go coast to coast, and it's in. Nighthawks moving. Patrick Punch to the hoop. Yes. NPC looking to ice this region two battle. 142 and counting. Glover can't get it to go for two. Cross court to Jabrine Hill, up to the hoop. No, Patrick Punch is fouled. Punch goes down hard, favoring his left foot. Helped up by a teammate, it looks like he's gonna be okay. What a hard fought ball game. Patrick Punch is going to go to the free throw line, but not before he walks it off for a moment. 18 for Patrick Punch tonight.
free throw good. Looking for a 20 piece tonight. Nope. Rebound Colts basketball, 90 seconds to go in tonight's battle. Wally and Moye looking for a miracle. Download Moye over two Nighthawks, gets it in. Nick Moye with eight. 109 and counting. Kieran Collins turns on the Jets, slows his roll. Setting up Nikavion White, Patrick Punch, Jabrian Hill and TK Kong on offense. Less than a minute to go. Collins dribbles around, trying to feed Kong. That was the play all along, and it goes in. Kong will score on sophomore night. It's a rise from the crowd tonight. Here come the Colts. Bounce pass. Down low is Hampton. Denied by Kong with the block. What a great effort from that young man from Grand Island, Nebraska. A diamond in the rough. Coach Dylan Hargrove, very proud of TK. We've got a foul down low. Jabrian Hill trying to swat the basketball. Accidentally swatted Kayvon Wally in the process. Wally heads to the free throw line. He's been there more than anyone on the Colts tonight. Well, just our scoreboard to match that, which is in the gymnasium. It is 80 to 64. At the line, Wally. Free throw, good. When the Nighthawks get the ball back, the shot clock will turn off for the final time at home this season. Two for two. 80 to 66. Dribbling across the timeline. Nikavion White, the bounce pass to Kong. 18 seconds left. NPC not putting up the stop sign. And we've got a jump ball down low. Colts basketball with 15.9 to go. Colts across the front court. Wally drives, fires, it's in. Inbound pass across the timeline. And for the 23rd time this season, the Nighthawks are victorious. They'll jump into the stands of their home crowd tonight and on sophomore night in Hot Springs, Arkansas. The Nighthawks remain undefeated. What a game. What a performance. What a show. And here comes that student section. The loudest and proudest supporters all season long. They're ready to meet their team. They're ready to celebrate. What a ball game. Here they come. We're back to wrap things up here in the kettle. Don't forget our featured Nighthawk interview with Nikavion White coming your way as well. This is Nighthawk basketball on the Nighthawk Network. I rarely get sick, and my primary care provider makes sure I stay that way. They're the first person I talk to if I have any questions about infections, medications, or any other health concerns. Now I have the help I need to stay on top of my health game. There are many reasons to have a primary care provider, but if you're not getting regular checkups, you're not getting a complete picture of your overall health. Start a primary care relationship for long-term health benefits. Basketball is what I rise above, alcohol and drugs.
Nighthawk Athletics is growing. Home to more than 107 student athletes, NPC has built an athletic program with four regional championships and two nationally ranked teams in just seven years. Consider supporting the development of this 51,000 square foot multi-use athletics facility that includes indoor practice space and workout facilities, along with fields for baseball, softball, soccer, and track and field. Your tax deductible gift could change a student's life. Give today at np.edu forward slash support. Take in the sights, take in the sounds of the kettle. The National Park College, your number one team in the nation. The Nighthawks are undefeated yet again. 23 wins this season, 23 and zero. They're celebrating here on the court. And uh, I can get you a few different camera angles on this. All the families in attendance tonight cheering on their student athletes. And I know there's so many of you that also could not be here tonight. And you know what? You're with us in spirit tonight. We're so glad to have you with us. And of course, we, we love all of you on the broadcast. Thank you so much for everything this season. Of course, I know it sounds like it's farewell and the season's over, but we're really just getting started. The Nighthawks soon can wrap up the Region 2 regular season championship. If a few things go their way over the next week or so, we'll keep you updated on social media. They're looking to hang their second consecutive banner here in the kettle, and they've made a lot of room over there. I don't have a camera angle to show you the banners, but they've made a lot of room over there for some other banners that they're also trying to hang this season. So we're with them every step of the way in this one. What a hard fought ball game and hats off to the Colts. They gave the Nighthawks everything they could throughout at least a half and a half Half of half in this one. Well, uh, you know, tip my hat to the Colts on a hard fought battle tonight. Um, this is a team that is up and coming in Region 2 play, and they're going to be a dangerous team in the postseason. Mark my words, they will upset someone in the Region 2 tournament. Let's take a look at the Colts tonight. In scoring, they were led by Kayvon Wally with 22 points tonight. Second on the team, Dylan Glover finishing with 11. Nine for Kahari Loggins tonight, six for Zion Harper, eight for Nick Moye, and three apiece for Damage Hampton, Edwin Aquino, Ryan Clemens, and Timon Proby. 
for the Cossetot Colts. For the National Park Nighthawks, they were led by Nikavion White on sophomore night. What a fitting end, huh, for his home career. 22 points for White, 19 for Patrick Punch tonight, 18 for Jabrian Hill, eight apiece for Taylor Harrell and Kieran Collins, three for Anthony Swift, and two for TK Kong in tonight's action. Thank you to our sponsors for tonight's broadcast, Washita Children, Youth, and Family Services, Rad, Rise Above Alcohol and Drugs, CHI St. Vincent, and Lake Hamilton Realty, also Levi Hospital. We want to tip our hat to First Security Bank. They provided the food and all the pregame tailgate festivities here at National Park College for a big crowd tonight, the biggest we've ever had in the kettle, and we're so glad that you tuned in on the live stream tonight. Thank you so much for everything. We'll rejoin you in the postseason. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and get notified the next time we go live, which is actually tomorrow with Nighthawk Baseball. We've got a doubleheader out at Majestic Park, and voice or no voice, I don't know. We'll have the live stream on at 1 o'clock. NPC takes on Southeast Arkansas Community College uh, in the home doubleheader. That's it. So long and farewell from the kettle for the final time this season where the National Park Nighthawks do it again, 80 to 68. As we leave you tonight, you thought I forgot, didn't you? I didn't forget. Enjoy our Washita Children, Youth, and Family Services featured Nighthawk interview with Nikavion White. I'm Mark Oliver with National Park College. See you next time. National Park College Nighthawk Men's Basketball is on the Nighthawk Network, your official home for Nighthawk Athletics this season. Our Washita Children, Youth and Family Services featured Nighthawk of the Week, the man, the myth, the legend, Nikavion White. Nikavion, where do we start with such a great career you've had at National Park College? You walked in the doors from Odessa, Texas, and you have lit up this fan base, the scoreboard, the record books. After such a great year last year, why was it important for you to make sure that you came back for another year here at NPC? Uh, after after the regional game, you know, that we lost last year, me, Pat, and JB, we kind of made it a thing to like, you know, we figured that we could have played better and we should have won. You know what I mean? Just us not playing as good as we did. So before we even made it back here, we, we figured out on the bus, yeah, we're coming back here because, you know, we there's something that we, we haven't finished and we're going to finish it this year. I remember talking with Coach Dylan Hargrove after the postseason loss last year, and he shared that very same story with me, saying those guys on the bus knew they were coming back mm -hmm. and knew they were taking this team to new heights, and you guys have done exactly that. You're number one in the nation for five weeks in a row. You're undefeated going into the 23rd game of the season. It's also the last game of the season that you'll ever play here in the kettle. It's the home finale. It's sophomore night. And when we take a look at, at legacy, Nikavion, we knew that you were special in your very first home game here at National Park College. In that game, you broke the single game assists record with 14 in a contest. You went on to do that again later in your career with 14 in a game, and you've broken multiple records since then. You're the all-time leader in rebounds, assists, blocks. You're 107 points away from being the all-time leading scorer here at National Park College. You are the only person to ever record a triple-double, and you did it twice. <laughs> and you're the first uh, All-American for men's basketball here at National Park College. And you're even on the billboard here in <laughs> Hot Springs. I know you had a chance to go yeah. see that billboard in person. Were you surprised? Yeah, I was surprised, man. It was amazing to see, though. When we talk about legacy, we talk about all the great things that you've done, all the great things that your team has done. But when we look back and years down the road, when we remember Nikavion White, number five for the Nighthawks, how do you hope that these fans remember you? I just hope they, they remember me as a, a player who brought excitement to the gym, you know, someone who wants to get everyone involved, a player who plays his heart out, you know what I mean, give everything he got, and just a winner. 
you've certainly proven yourself to be a role model for this team, as well as uh, the National Park Nighthawk community, Nighthawk Nation. They're buzzing at games. These crowds, they're electric, they're loud, they're exciting. And for one final time at home this season, they'll get a chance to cheer you guys on. You play host to the Colts of University of mm -hmm. Arkansas. Cossetot tonight. Tell me about that game. What can we expect out of NPC as you look for win number 23 tonight? I feel like from us, you know, we have a lot of seniors and we have the returners who, you know, will never, ever get to play here again. And I think y'all should expect a great show. You know, we're coming to play. This might be the hardest you've ever seen us play all year. Um, we're coming to dominate, you know, literally just dominate them and just show them that we're just the best. It's a party in the kettle, huge tailgate pregame and uh, a lot of great festivities at halftime as well. We're expecting our biggest crowd ever at National Park College tonight, and we can't wait to see you guys in action. In the Caveon, we know that the journey is far from over. Even yes, though sir. it's the home finale, this team has very strict goals ahead and very big things they hope to achieve. Tell me about those. What is Coach Dylan Hargrove aiming for for this year's squad, and what do you hope to have for yourself before this year is finished? Um. For, for for team goals, you know, we never really set a team goal at the beginning except win the national championship, you know. The rankings and, you know, all the records we're breaking and everything else is kind of just coming with it. But at the beginning, it was just win the national championship, you know. That was our goal from the jump, and that's still our goal till today. And, yeah, really, that's it. And, of course, Nikavion, we know that the future is extremely bright for a young man with your capabilities, your talent. What do you hope to achieve for yourself after your time with NPC is through? Um, I hope to achieve, you know, some Division One offers. I hope to be able to go, you know, have a couple options to where I won't have to just, you know, go anywhere. And I hope to just go there and keep keep improving, become a better basketball player, and end up becoming a pro. Uh, my son River is your biggest fan, yeah. loves you so much, and I think I can say on behalf of all of us here in Nighthawk Nation, thank you for choosing NPC. Congratulations on an amazing career here at Nighthawk Nation, and good luck to you and the guys the rest of the way this season. Is there anybody that you'd like to say hello to who may be watching today? <laughs> yeah, most definitely. I'd like to say hello to my mom, my grandma, you know, my family members, everybody back home who watching me. I would like to say hello to all the fans who who coming out tonight and who's been here. You know, we really appreciate y'all and y'all bring more energy and more to the game than you know. The legendary Nikavion White. You can follow men's basketball online on Facebook, Instagram, and X. Special thank you to Washita Children, Youth, and Family Services, the sponsor for the featured Nighthawk of the Week. He's Nikavion White. I'm Mark Oliver, and this is Nighthawk Men's Basketball on the Nighthawk Network.